Hello, everybody. We have Rima today with us. She has scored 72 in reading and writing, 70 in listening, and 82 in speaking in her first ever attempt in PTE. After three weeks of class with us at Milestone, uh, which was online class. Initially, she was not sure that she'd get the score or not. But when she looked at the scorecard, she was even surprised that she got 65 plus. So let's hear from Rima what she has to say, how she prepared and some tips from her. Rima, congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Um, actually, like, I was on TikTok first. And I was like, um, okay, she's good with everything, like grammars and everything. Like I had a huge issues with the grammars and the collocations, but um, like I didn't have enough time for that thing. And I needed like at least seven. So like I thought she would be good for me and I joined two, week, two weeks class at the beginning, right? And after that, um, like you gave me one week extra and then that was bonus for me. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> and um, yeah. So I was not, uh, like, I was hoping for 80, but, like, for, for the moment, like, uh, for my uh, visa extension, I just needed, like, at least seven, like, uh, for the registration. And I went with you, and it was very good experience. And I enjoyed the two weeks class at the beginning. At first, I was, like, um, I didn't have that much knowledge about PT because it was my first attempt as well because I had given IELTS. And I find it, like, uh, it, it is all about tips and tricks because uh, in IELTS, I know, like, I had given my 100 question, like I needed lots of hard work, but with PT, like just two weeks class was enough for me. And um, maybe because like uh, you had like the time sheets like for us, like you gave us the time sheets and that was helpful as well. So I just like yeah, utilizes your um, the resources that you had provided to us. And I enjoyed the class. It was two hours every day. And that was the only time I practiced PT actually. <laughs> because after that I had no time I had to go to work like I had to study like like I was busy in my one work schedule but like uh, with that two weeks and uh, plus one week extra class I think it was very helpful for me uh, especially the writing part um, you gave me like tips for the summarized written test which I was struggling for because at the beginning I thought I would just keep by myself and I was like uh, I had a doubt on me like if I will get seven or not so um, I just chose the milestone and it was a good experience. Like, um, yeah, everybody was learning good. And uh, so everybody, um, like whoever have a doubt on themselves, then I think like you should join a class because like in IELTS, it's all about you, how you give it. But in PT, it's all about tips and tricks. So yeah, just follow milestone. I think it's a very good um, institute for learning. Thank you, Rima. So as you said, initially you thought you'd give it yourself. There are so many resources online. So what was that one instinct that said you needed to join the class? Yeah. So even like uh, I have a lots of friends who are giving by themselves. And um, like most of them could not get in in the first attempt. I don't know why, but like some of them get the like resources from their friends. We have already studied from like a regular institute who are providing the stuffs, like um, the tricks and everything. So, but I didn't have such friend who would provide me everything uh, who had learned from the institute. And I went with YouTube. I went with different uh, websites. And like what I find, uh, like if with websites, I think it depends on them. Um, I chose one of the Chinese website. It was like um, half Chinese and half English, but like most of the participants were Chinese. So what I found in that is like, I tried speaking with them and every time I give speaking, every time they give me different marks. Like at the beginning, they give me even 90. And it's like, what, 90? It's impossible. And I was like, okay, and then next day it gave me 50. And I was like, what, 50? Like, I didn't find it helpful because it was not giving me the actual marks, like um, like the way I performed actually. So um, there was no one to guide me, like who would tell me like, yeah, you are doing good. It's the way that it should be done. So I found like, I need a guide. I need a mentor who can see like, if I'm doing good or not. Um, so that's why I joined Milestone actually, because I knew the uh, thing, like I knew my speaking was good, but I didn't know if I was practicing good or not. So that's why like you helped me a lot. Well, you said like we uh, even recorded our voice and send it to you and you said, yeah, your fluency is good. Your everything is good. You have to just like uh, keep some commas and full stop, like something like that. You have to stop in that, something like that. So yeah, uh, I just wanted a mentor and guide who can see like how I'm going. It, 
uh, like am I going in correct way or not? Um, what about reading and listening? Because especially in reading and listening, we don't have specific tricks. For example, mm -hmm. filling the blanks and reorder paragraphs. We can't just say, okay, do anything you like. Yeah, you have yeah. to have some kind of background knowledge on you. So how did you manage that? Yeah, exactly. Like uh, I'm still like, okay, how did I got seventy two uh, like. List, uh, in reading because it was the hardest part like even with you I was always like how will I give reading how will I give reading I always used to tell it something like that but like with reading uh, actually grammar and collocations is like uh, the very important thing for grammar like for reading but uh, with me I used to go with my guts like okay it will go like I'll just put this one I will go with this one I used to do like that but like after joining your class, uh, I think collocations helped me a lot. And uh, yeah, I started the grammar as well. So like you gave us the book uh, and that was helpful. I didn't went through all of them because it was impossible for me to do it in two weeks. And it, I didn't even had enough time for like to study by myself. So um, I just took like two or three days leave and then I just went through some grammar and then uh, some collocations that uh, that would be helpful for us. And you gave us like um, the past resources as well, the past questions as well. And I went through all, like some of, uh, like I didn't practice like all of them because I thought like repeating the same questions is like, uh, one in hundred percent, right? So I just like, okay, I'll just read the collocations. I'll just read some grammars and I'll just um, try some tricks. Like you said, um, you have to go with the context and you have to go with the scenario, what the passage is saying. So yeah, I just tried the, those things. And uh, with the reorders uh, and everything, I think um, the way we see the sentence, like we didn't even know how to like uh, say, this one is the first one. Okay, this will go with the first one. And I think the first word of the first sentence will say a lot about if it's the first word, if it's the first sentence or if it's the second sentence. And the uh, punctuation marks and everything, I think it all matters. So uh, all these things need to be considered to be like good in uh, reorder and everything. Uh, about the listening, um, I think you need to focus a lot because like, I didn't even attend the mock test. I didn't even had a time for that, right? Uh, I was like planning, I was um, gonna ask you, uh, give me some, uh, like you, you had one mock test for each student, but I was like, I didn't even had time for that. When I went straight to the test, I was like, everybody was already speaking, but I was like, okay, what next, what next? <laughs> I was like that. So I suggest everyone to take the mock test first. And then with the listening part, there will be a lot of distraction in that room. I didn't know that like the distraction is that huge. I didn't expect it. Like everybody was like babbling on their own way, right? So with listening, uh, you have to be in good and the um, like focus and have concentration. And it would be only possible if you try it in your home and otherwise you won't be able to concentrate. So like concentration is the main thing with listening. And the other thing, uh, you have to listen a, a lot of TED talks and all like that. I did, I did like you know, the one uh, you send it to me, uh, I think two or more, uh, you send us few. So I tried everything from your resources. And even like I went with the extra TED talks, like I used to listen, like I didn't, used to uh, write whatever I listened but like whenever I was free I was like okay let's let's listen to the TED talks and yeah so it was helpful the TED talks that you provide us and you asked us to like to go with the TED talk so that was helpful. But out of 20 questions which one was the easiest and the hardest for you? I think write from dictation isn't it because with write from dictation when we listen to the TED talk, like um, I used to put all the initials, I can show it to you. Like I had a whole two, three, four papers filled with the, all the initials. And I don't know what, what went wrong at that time. Maybe my concentration, I was not focused. Um, like I was able to write the <laughs> initials, but I forgot like what was the let whole word. I was like, okay. <laughs> At that time, I was like, oh, yeah. So right from dictation, I think it's the important part as well. And yeah, it was like, you you have to be quick at that time. Yeah, so what did Not you the do? whole sentence, but I forgot some of the words like, you know, because I think that one uh, was the longest one. Even in the repeat sentence, I didn't uh, hesitate uh, to repeat the sentences. But with the right from dictation, it would have been easier 
maybe my luck was bad as well. But uh, yeah, the sentence was a bit long and I forgot in the middle part, like the whole one. I was like, okay. So yeah. Did you make it up? Um, I tried to make it up, but um, like I remembered some words like fishing, agriculture, something like that. And I was like, okay, what will go with this one? So I just put like whatever I feel like it will go with. Uh, yeah, like like you told us, um, just make the sentence that makes sense. Like don't just send it like whatever you feel, you know. And the easiest question you feel? E read aloud. Uh, for me, read aloud was the easiest. <laughs> because like with read aloud, um, it, you just have to read whatever it's in the monitor, right? So you don't you don't have to make your one things. You don't have to memorize. You don't have to worry about the grammars. You don't have to just read whatever it's on the screen. So it was the easiest part, read aloud. Correct. Now, lastly, any tips? So uh, what's my tips for those who are preparing on home is, uh, even I tried, um, like, you will get the basic knowledge about PT. What is PT? What what are the sections uh, that we need to study in PT? But uh, the thing is, like we will practice right in home, but we don't know if we are going in a right flow or not. So, um, if you are practicing but you are practicing it in a wrong way, then it's not worth it. So you will just have to repeat the exam again, and it's like whole mess thing around so i feel like um if you know if what you are doing and if you know if you're in a correct path then it's all right you can study at home you can like practice from the websites but uh for me i was not um 100 percent if i was going in the wrong way uh, like right way or not and for me i needed a mentor who can tell me like um yeah you are doing good just practice in the same way and you will get the marks so yeah i just needed the guide and I found you in TikTok. So it was uh, helpful for me if, when I took the class because I knew that, oh, now now I knew that like, oh, I was on the right way. Because even after taking the classes, um, I took the three days leave to study by myself. I was like, oh, it would have been easier if Anusha Ma'am would like was with me so that she, she, was like, she would give me feedback. You're not doing good this one, you're doing good this one. So yeah. I just want to tell them whoever is practicing in home, don't go with uh, the websites because I think the websites just like they are, uh, I think they are established on their own way, like on their own pattern and uh, they will just give whatever uh, um, they feel like giving. Like with me, they give me 90, they give me 45, they give me 50. So you, you won't get the exact marks and you won't know the how, um, how uh, confident and how good you are on your English from those websites. So I think you need a physical person, physically a person who can tell you, yeah, you're doing good. So just go with this one. Yeah, so um, those who are preparing at home, just think about it. If you think you are 100% sure, go with it. Otherwise, take your classes. It would be helpful. Great, Rima. Um, and finally, those who are preparing with us, because I know, I'm sure that many students know you from the morning oh, classes. Yeah. <laughs> and we were also talking about you that, wow, she got the score. Uh, so anything for them? I, so it was good experience, like at first studying with them. I know that like, like, you know, online classes are always like everybody's talking and it's like you are listening, just like, okay, what is he saying? So with online classes, the thing was, the thing that was helpful was like, uh, if anybody speaks, like uh, if anybody had any doubt, or anybody had any questions, uh, or anybody had any issues with something, like when you tell me, then all of them can listen. Um, not like in the classroom, like you will go just single with one uh, person and then you just tell them, oh, you're not good with this, 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 you do, do this, this, this. But with online class, everybody was there, so everybody can listen to everyone. And uh, if I made some mistake, then you will tell me and everybody can hear it and they can also correct their one mistake. So um, yeah, that was, I think, helpful with online class. Otherwise, uh, for those who are preparing at the moment, I think you are doing great. So just uh, don't worry about your marks just give you a hundred percent and don't stress out because I stressed out a lot when I went in the exam hall because maybe I didn't even give mock tests so just give mock tests before you go <laughs> that's the big suggestion I will give yes and because what happened you know ma'am like you told us like with uh, multiple choice you will get the square box or uh, circle box something like that 
and I forgot at that hall. I have to go to the top and read what's the question, like what is the question? Is it multiple answer? Is it single answer? And I think that took time for me from my own uh, PTE exam. And I had problem with the time management because of that thing as well. So I suggest, um, yeah, just keep mock this before you go. That's right. Thank you, Rima, for joining us and giving your valuable suggestions to everybody. Uh, all the best for your future. I think you will also need eight, is it? Of course, I will need that. I was like, oh, I have to give it again. No, I would have, like, I was like, oh, I should have give my best at this time because I would have get eight. I know, but yeah, yeah anyway, yeah. I have to give it again. So, yeah. All right. So, but keep listening to TED Talks, keep reading some grammar yeah. every day, in and day out. Uh, so Even I read the novels. I never read the novels, but I've started reading novels now. So it's Great. good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you, Reema, and take care. Oh, good. Thank you, Anissa, ma'am. Thank you, Milestone. Thank you, all of the friends who were with me in online classes. You helped me a lot. Uh, I learned from your mistakes, and I think I hope you also learned from, learned from my mistakes. So, yeah, everybody who is performing uh, and practicing at home, please rethink about it. If you're 100% sure, you can give it. Otherwise, you can uh, look for the Institute Milestone. Thank you.